Everyone needs a good pair of Chuck Taylors, something you can easily put on in a rush without worrying about it ever being out of place. There's a couple of things I think about when considering that type of watch. Obviously, being a watch geek, sometimes my taste can be a bit higher than the average Joe. Nothing to do with finances, more of a self-awareness to what a watch geek is willing to spend on a timepiece versus a regular guy who just needs to know the time. That watch for me was my Rolex Submariner, or so I thought. After thinking about it from a practical standpoint, the Sub is an extremely capable piece. The one downfall is the fact that it is extremely recognizable in the mainstream world. For the most part, I never put myself in a situation where I have to worry about what I'm wearing on my wrist. But traveling for business, I find myself in different foreign cities, sometimes it's out of my control. So that's what got me thinking about the Chuck Taylor concept. A pair of Converse that I would put on, use it, and abuse it. As an ex-sneakerhead, I have a lot of respect for the brand and I can both enjoy the shoe as an enthusiast, but also wear it without worrying about it being daily abused. That for me is the Tudor Black Bay 58 Navy. Before I discuss my top reasons why I picked this watch as a great grab and go piece for collectors, please pause the video and add in the comments what you consider your Chuck Taylor piece. Big thank you to David SW for allowing us to experience this piece. David SW is a trusted independent dealer based out of the heart of Orlando. If you're considering your next luxury timepiece, David SW carries some incredible brands from the like of Paddock, Rolex, AP, Richard Mill, and many more. So when considering your next luxury piece, make sure you visit davidsw.com. Now, this isn't going to be a review of the Tudor Black Bay 58 in blue. There are many reviews out there and they've been talked about to death, so instead I'll spare you with the boring specifications and I'll just give you my 5 reasons why I've decided this is a great daily luxury piece. Reason 1. The perfect size. For my 6.5 inch wrist, Tudor released the 58 collection with what I consider the Goldilocks size. Not too big, not too small, it's just right. The watch is 39mm by 47.8mm lug to lug with a thickness of 12mm. As you can see on my 6.5 inch wrist, it wears beautifully. Reason number 2 is the color. Yes, I know, the black version is probably the better choice, but as a person who has a monochromatic wardrobe, pretty much everything I wear is black, navy blue adds a pop of color that elevates my overall attire just a tad bit to make it look like I put an effort. All jokes aside, navy is the most versatile color if you decide you wanted something that wasn't white or black. Reason number 3 is a bit of a weird one, but it is the aluminum bezel. I almost always prefer ceramic. I just love the way my pieces look when they look pristine. That said, as a Chuck Taylor piece, I want something that will look good faded and beaten up. From my experience with vintage Tudor and Rolex pieces, when this bezel fades, it will add more character. Like a well-worn pair of shoes, it will feel like a trusty timepiece. Reason number 4 is the price. I'm not gonna discuss this at length because it's a very touchy topic. But with my sub, the prices were creeping up and it made me a bit uncomfortable to daily it. I'm just being honest. I know the geeks out there will say Rolexes are meant to be worn and abused. They're tool watches. You're right, but it doesn't mean I have to do that if I'm uncomfortable with it. For what Tudor offers with the Black Bay, in the world of luxury watches, the price is actually a bargain. It is well priced enough for me to daily it without worrying too much. Now my final reason, it is a geeky watch that I can enjoy without worrying about catching the attention of anyone. There's nothing wrong with showing off in my personal opinion, but it's just not for me. I love watches for what they are, not what they represent at times. In fact, I find myself uncomfortable talking to people who aren't into watches about my pieces. The Black Bay 58 provides the perfect balance of comfort and geekiness that I enjoy so much when wearing a piece like this. Similar to what I get with Grand Seiko, but the only difference is I'm not constantly worried about that beautiful Zoratsu polishing. Overall, I think the Tudor Black Bay 58 Navy is a great Chuck Taylor timepiece, but of course I would love to hear from you in the comment section below what is your Chuck Taylor timepiece. To me, the Black Bay 58 has that perfect balance of geekiness and a watch I love without worrying about it. 
Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you in the next one.